Now we're back in the shop and we're going to fiberglass, the four and a half deck, the cabin and the hull. Before glassing, we round off all the edges of the decks and cabin top, then lay the glass on one section at a time. Where you see the green tape, we're actually going to cut that fiberglass with a rotary cutter that we got at Joanne Fabrics. Some people use a box cutter, but I haven't had great luck with them. The fiberglass cloth will not bend around a 90 degree corner, so we do round off all the corners that we possibly can. Sometimes we have to make some repairs as shown right here. That's where we had to Put an additional four ounces of fiberglass on. And that's another corner that we had to redo. And here's the finished repair. After two coats of epoxy, you can't even tell. And the combing is the next thing that we put on the cabin top. Uh, just a matter of clamps and little pieces of wood. The deck stringers, we did fiberglass them and then glued them to the deck. And the forward hatch, we put a combing around it. And in the next picture here, you'll see another one of our helpers. And here's the vinyl coats of the epoxy on the cabin and the decks. And the stringers. Pretty inchy. We're going to make it ugly again, though, by <laughs> sanding it and painting it. <laughs> Here we go. So it's over. Nothing to see here. We wanted to get the hull at, to an acceptable working height for us so that we could sand and fiberglass and do everything we needed to do to that little hull. So we put a couple of short saw horses underneath it with some padding. 
Then we put fiberglass cloth on the hull on one side of it. We trimmed the edges that we needed to trim with the fiber, with the rotary cutter. And then it's time to put some epoxy on that fiberglass. That's not a level thing. Now. <laughs> That's exposure, I think. I thought it was a level. What do I know? This is a different roller than we normally use. I'm trying to find a roller that doesn't leave a bunch of bubbles, which you can see this is doing a knockout job of leaving bubbles. But when I squeegee it, that'll get rid of them. The idea is to let it soak into the wood a little bit. And get all the epoxy, or not all the epoxy, but a lot of the epoxy out of the glass. And I'm trying to get rid of these bubbles, these big bubbles here, under the glass. Get rid of them. And then down along the edge here, Kathy will come back with a brush with the epoxy in it to. Uh, Make sure that the cloth all right at the edge is covered. Gotta always work towards the edge somewhat. Because it'll get the cloth stretches a little bit when you get the epoxy on it as you're working it. Next, and don't spend too much time in one place because the epoxy will go off. Well, looks like we will get 
the other side after Christmas. So this is rolling and tipping for people who have never rolled and tipped. 101. This is a like the, this is epoxy, not paint. Yeah, this is like the gloss coat we're putting on. It's the third coat of epoxy, counting the one that holds the glass down. Tipping tool. <laughs> the roller leaves bubbles in it. And this is part of a roller cover that we cut down on the bandsaw. Then it evens out the coat, gets rid of the bubbles. Where's the alcohol rag, Kath? And back to the... Wipe up the drips. And move right along.